shoot, I just want to just try and help the next person that's watching this. Like, you know, like just being a part of Ethica don't really like, you know, like you said, it was something like that's when it's something. And that's where a lot of people don't really like get the experience is something that show them that you do, you on the right path, like you're going the right way yeah. type shit. And a lot of people look at me or like it was a lot of people from Jacksonville that they because they end up they end up having like. 150 artists that was like pre-signed mm -hmm. like okay we're gonna do a demo deal you make up some demos and then you bring them back and we're gonna see if we actually like want to continue like to rock out with you mm -hmm. so it started off with 150 then it went to 50 and then it went to 20 and now i'm part of the only 10 that they keeping mm -hmm. so it's just like i feel like i'm really in a real special spot you know what i'm saying i just need to play my cards right use it wisely and try to help the next man yeah, that you got a same. real brand behind you bro. for real like, like solidified yeah like, like all what? my homies with ethicas and shit like i never would have put two and two together you know yeah. what i'm saying like ever that's why it's like a, a special position i ain't trying to like have a big head about it like i want to see the next person do something like that too because at the end of the day it's like you know what i'm saying it's so many niggas that i know do music you know do a lot of things but they they probably feel burnt out because they ain't getting nothing that's showing them that they that is worth it yeah. or like you know what I'm saying so it's just I, I feel like I'm kind of like a testament to you know a lot of people because I don't I was so close to people who doing the same thing yeah so yeah for sure Batman welcome to other wise guys Hell welcome yeah. to Shakur <laughs> right now I'm here with hey the one and only Fonzie man you already know what it is man. Hey man, I appreciate you for coming through, bro. For sure, for sure. For sure, man. Nice vibes, man. Nice vibes. For sure. We were having a conversation before we even started. Yeah, yeah. Like you you were a different type of artist, bro. Like yeah. for you to even like before I knew who you, who you were, like as an artist, I just mm. seen your pictures. Mm. Like just the different uh, you know, photography shots and all yeah, this shit. Yeah. What got you on that? Um, really, uh just like collabing with different people in the city like and not just like other artists but like i really noticed how my connections came from people who like had an occupation to like that lined up with what i was doing so for example um i started working with somebody named dj prince patron mm -hmm. you know what that is yeah but um yeah patron he really put me in a lot of positions just he had his clothing brand and he'll put it on me and we'll book a shoot or we'll you know go to a photo shoot and we'll be shooting and then next thing you know somebody else hit me up because they seen what i did with him mm -hmm. and they think i can do the same thing for their brand and that's really probably how the whole ethica thing came about because he was the first like clothing brand that i worked with though and he really taught me about like branding and being on a, a club scene and mm -hmm. just had me in different spots so really that's how it came about like the photo and then uh, i went to an art school and they had like a photo class there and i would hop in the uh, photo room and take uh, pictures and shit, and I think that's really got it kicked off, too. Okay. So, yeah, and so, I just kept it going. Man, oh, uh, yeah, DJ Prince, man. Shout out to DJ Prince. Yeah, yeah we yeah. go way <laughs> back. Like, oh, yeah, for sure. I definitely got to have him on the show. Like, he already know yeah, what time it is. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. He, he, How you linked up with him? Um, I linked up with Patron. DJ Lil Prince, before he was yeah. Patron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think, I think the first... I want to say one of the first times I linked up with him. Dang, how we met. I think he sent me a beat or something. Yeah. Or I don't know what it is, but we just end up, you know, crossing paths and yeah. just locking in. And then I remember um, I was working a job, a Fort Lift job. I was making 2252 at his warehouse. And um, I had took a picture of where I was at and I was talking to him. And then I, uh, he seen it. He was like, I think you work with my mama mm -hmm. and i was like for real and he told me where she worked at and i was like oh yeah i worked there yeah so his mama ended up working so then it just came full circle i'm like dang his mama my manager he t like a manager so it's like you know what yeah, i'm saying just, that. yeah yeah for sure that's crazy so sure. on the picture tip though like for you just like just taking pictures because you're not like what i say about different is mm -hmm. like you don't you don't got like the gang look or you know what I'm saying you look more like the the more of creative artists, you mm. know what I'm saying? More of the... Um, Appreciate that, too. Like, you know, like, I wouldn't say Tyler Creator, but, you know, you're yeah, more yeah. in that world. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. with your photos, so you're yeah. more animated at times. Yeah, yeah, You know what I'm yeah. saying? So what what allow, had you doing that? Because, like, in the city, you know, it's like, you can't really be yeah. animated like yeah, that. Yeah, right, know? right. It's not, like, too too common that you see somebody like... Exactly. Like, that animated and still solidified with themselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, exactly. Um, yeah, that just came from um, just embracing being myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see how everybody else take their pictures and I want to do something different. You know what I'm saying? Or 
how can I really make this picture portray like a piece of my personality like you know what I'm saying and just like having the grills and and people telling me I look like ASAP Rocky just kind of boosted my confidence and yeah. swag too so you like that's what I was thinking about yeah. you, do you like ASAP <laughs> yeah yeah I fuck with ASAP bro like uh like especially with people telling me like since high school that i look like him like i dug into him and then i got into uh jeremy scott's like uh jeremy scott is a designer for adidas mm -hmm. and he he make like crazy shoes like poodle shoes and shoes with bones on them and people would, like notice me and like some people make fun of me like for the shoes that i was wearing but i'm like this is jeremy scott like this designer you don't, don't even know, know. About this, right? yeah <laughs> so it's like y'all don't even know about this but that and that was just like hey bro like to me, it was just by as long as I know, as long as I like the shoe, as long as I like it, you know what I'm saying? That's what just made me dig more into that bag of like embracing what I like, you know what I'm saying? So you more like you more like the Kanye West of the city then, cause yeah, you really on the shit. fashion, like, you <laughs> yeah, really on yeah. that shit. I love fashion, bro, cause like, like with fashion, you able to make statements without making statements. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like if if you wore I can't breathe shirt, somebody gonna get the message of. Like what you portraying, you ain't even say one word. It's yeah. straight off of what you wearing on your shirt. So that's why I love fashion. Like you're able to tell people certain things without even talking to them. And Facts. it's another way of expressing yourself, just like making a song or making an art piece. You know what I'm saying? So all that shit just go into one, like making the songs. When you, when did you start making music? Um, I started making music like straight out of high school, like 2016. That's when I came up. And um, I started the experience, man, because I was so, I went to high school, my art high school, I went for, like, drawing. Like what, drawing. What, what school? Uh, Douglas Anderson. Okay. Yeah, 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 Douglas Anderson. I went for visual arts. And then middle school, I went to La Villa. Boy, yeah, I man. ain't gonna lie, boy. I'm jealous, because I wanted yeah. to go to La Villa yeah, at one point. People say that. I you wanted know, to go to La Villa, I ain't gonna care. People be saying that, too, bro. How like, was La Villa, bro? We gonna get like, that. How was La Villa, bro? La Villa, um, it was just like, it, it opened your mind, bro. Like, from whatever you know in your neighborhood, because it was so many different neighborhoods. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like I was going to a West Side school with all West Side kids, or a North Side school with all North Side kids. So going to this school and then seeing everybody, different talents, like, yeah. I'm like, oh, this is like people who well, like you me, went but to the school. Uh, well, yeah, you was like, it was good to be. Free yeah, or yeah, it's like because everybody, like nobody is jealous of you because you're doing the same thing that they're doing, or nobody hating on you because you're doing the same thing that they're doing. Everybody just got their own thing. Like my homeboy, he acting, and another homeboy, uh, like work an instrument. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it was never no hating. It's like everybody like lifting each other up like oh you did that okay cool i'm gonna be to your um your recital or i'm gonna go to your gallery opening like that's yeah. how that shit was it was real supportive bro so you was already on the game man. yeah you yeah. was and already on it da is just like high school musical like the it's like an urban high school musical like yeah. it wasn't no like like uh no nah, one time they did they did come in the, they would come in the cafeteria and just start turning uh uh, trash cans over and beating on trash cans and everybody singing like the theater department singing and shit. Oh, that's like, crazy! Like it was a weird experience in that in high school. It's like, dang, like y'all really like. I don't know. That shit was just so funny, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was funny as hell to see. Wait, that. What was funny about it? like seeing everybody doing it, or it was yeah, just it was just like y'all actually doing this shit. Yeah, because <laughs> I only seen it in movies, like High School Musical. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? To see that, it was just crazy. It just felt like I was a part of a movie. So I just felt like. You know what I'm saying? Like, just hey, embrace your embrace your role in this movie. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. That just kind of just just helped. But you me did. Myself. You was rapping. Um, shit. And 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 like lunchtime, like when lunchtime will come around, everybody will circle around. We'll do like a little freestyle thing, and then I like the reactions that people are like. You know what I'm saying? Cause I say like some conceited bars, like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause it was so <laughs> easy to impress them, cause you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it was an art school, so it was like the, it was like wilding out, bro. Like everybody would just circle around. That shit was fun, though. That shit was fun, man. Yeah. Yeah, but I definitely, I was doing it all, bro. Like, uh, painting, drawing, making music in the photo room. And after high school, I just know I had to keep it going. Like, I didn't really know how to adjust to, like, a corporate world mm -hmm. because I went to an art school. So it's like, when you saying, oh, all right, now it's time for you to go and apply to a job and be like something that has nothing to do with what you went to school for mm -hmm. it was like i was confused so i was like let me just try and make what i went to school for and uh, everything that i did let me just try and make that like an occupation and make money from it so my people can support me to do it and that's really what ended up happening so Damn. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that shit was raw. That I know you got raw. a lot of connections as far as like people who you went to school with that's off doing some shit that you yeah. Can be like. Yeah, and and I think that's what like really like helped me to keep going because I have a friend that is dancing for Usher mm-hmm. or uh, somebody that I know that's dancing for Neo, and she she was in dance and um like it's other people who own a nutrition shop in Springfield, like different people going to Juilliard, mm-hmm. like all these people, it's like, you don't ever want to, like, I don't want to feel left out. So I want to maintain that same type of growth and stuff for myself, even though it's not like a school thing or, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to stay up to par with my people that was Your like peers. doing good things too. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm so, still, I'm still at it. We mm-hmm. still got the school spirit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you started making music, what was the reaction? to the city like how did the city take take your um music? you know like i i really the i don't know how to say this but like it wasn't us that showed me love first mm. it was it was other people that like it was a lot of other like people that showed me a lot of love and i knew that th- those were the people that pay for tickets <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying like yeah. i'm like okay so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna rock out with them because yeah you know what i'm saying because like that i love like i even had a show uh called mosh pits in october of 2017 and i started 2016 mm-hmm. and they knew all the words like and this is jacksonville my own city like you know what i'm saying it just something about it just was like everybody don't have this type of start that i felt like i i got to start with yeah you know i see many artists have their first shows and they be skimp or like a lot of that bro like my first show it was so packed like yeah more people than i expected came out and it was pre-pandemic so you know what i'm saying gotcha. it was way different like uh, everybody was in that bit packed together and like i had uh, everybody jumping and just like i had my cousin with me and my friends and on the stage like, so it this was like energy. a real yeah like it, 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 it what it did it just gave me a high that i wanted to keep like get, keep you know what i'm saying yeah like i wanted to make that happen like however i can like make that happen like a lot but i think with that show it built it gave me a lot of leverage to like charge for other shows like gotcha. you know what i'm saying like hey this is what i did you know i turned this crowd up and had them like this i can do this for your show if you really want me and this is my price that i'm charging for that yeah you know what i'm saying and i really had to build leverage because i at first, I was coming out charging. I ain't really had no credentials to charge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Like, so I, I definitely fuck with so that. Yeah, you built your resume. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what I got going now. Yeah, right, right. I built my own resume type shit. Yeah. Type shit. So what what was like the, uh, you was just doing the mixtapes? I was dropping singles. Because I was still trying to figure out my sound. Mm-hmm. So like, you know what I'm saying? E- ever since like, I did drop a mixtape, but it was like, it was eight songs, and I kind of just got the gist of how a mixtape worked. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just giving somebody a, like a little catalog to choose from and go through your music and get used to your sound type shit. So um, now, this October coming up, I want to drop another mixtape, and that'll be my only, my second mixtape out of what, like the five or six years I've been doing this. Wow. So um, I think now with the knowledge that I got, the things that I've been experienced, I feel like this tape going to be way more like fuller, better substance, like, you know, authentic, like real, real good. Who you going to work with? Um, shoot. I'm having, uh, I, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get with Chameleon on this one track that I just dropped uh, called No Biggie. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, she fought with it a lot because I sent it in for a music review one time and she was on her live doing music reviews and I sent the song or whatever and she like she was fucking with it hard like and she told me everything I needed to do to get her on it because she wanted to be on it yeah so um I'm definitely want to work on that to get her on there I really want to work with a lot of female artists mm-hmm. um and as far as like male artists I'm always down to work with I ain't in no beef so you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying I'm, I'm I'm willing to work with everybody from like you know what I'm saying I don't even know if I should name y'all but I'm cool. willing to work with everybody type shit. Man, you might as well. What you mean you don't know if you should? Yeah, because, like, that should just be, everything be so, so, like, politicking. And, like, if you say this person, then you must be choosing that side. Or, like, you know what I'm saying? Man, but, you put the disclaimer out there. You said you ain't in no beef. Right, right, right. That's so, what I'm going to work with. So, like, really, people from the city that I would work with or would want to work with is, uh, I definitely would work, would want to work with uh, J-Dot. Um, yeah. <laughs> crazy but Fulio um shoot I just cause I'm just a music connoisseur like yeah. 
I'm 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 more, I I know more about your music than your beef type shit. Like okay. I I'm I'm paying more attention to that than what's going on outside the music. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand that a lot of things outside of music is to keep you relevant or to keep your business going. So you know I don't really try to read too much and pick sides with that shit because you never know what the truth is. Yeah. Like behind the scenes. So it's like. I, I, get, I try to take what they give us with the music and shit. So, yeah, that's just like a few names that I would want to work with. And, so, know. the one with Chameleon, though. So, what she, what, what's the play? Like, what she said you got to do to get on there? Um, shoot, just um, put a little something to get her in the video. Um, but, um, yeah, like, that's really it. It's just the, vid- the video. The and, visual. Yeah, and I'm, we, I feel like we both will be good with, with the visuals. Yeah, because y'all both got that. Yeah, yeah, like it's like a nice little mainstream like type of feel that we got, or I feel like that she got too. So I fought with her a lot. Yeah. And um, who else I was thinking about? Uh, I love Kanae. She coming up too. Mm. I fought with her. Oh music. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I fought with her. And um, she, um, Foke. She raw. She raw. I fought with Foke. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you you say you more on the female. So what you want me to do more mm-hmm. singing? You know um, what I'm saying or. Yeah, like, because, you know, females attract females, mm. and I, I just find those to be the best connoisseurs of music. Mm. And, like, a lot of times in the in the game, like, dudes, we look for females' reactions to know if our record is hot or not. You know what I'm saying? Especially, that's how I was coming up. Like, I got to see if the girl's fucking with it, because if the girl's fucking with it, then we good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Had the it girl, in the studio type shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, not in the studio, but, like... Um, like have them post it like a story like if they post a story on instagram mm. like they put in my song in the background on their music like as the music and naturally like i ain't even have to ask gotcha. her so i'm like okay so this is good like i fought with that i fought with the fact that you know the girls good because the dude's gonna follow the girl you know what i'm saying yeah, so she gonna, fuck with it then i'm on it yeah, <laughs> right 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 yeah so right. so how did you get the deal though like what's the play with the deal you talking about with uh with Ethicam? Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, I had made this track called What If, mm-hmm. and the engineer that was on it, uh, Mike Sinatra. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Cook Up, Cook Up Food. I don't know if you know what that is, but um, Cook Up Food did the beat or whatever, and uh, he had me and him recorded it, and then he went ghost for like a year or two. Mm-hmm. So I'm and it, to me that was like one of the best songs that I I had recorded. So I'm like, like where the heck? Why are you just gonna go ghost on me when? I've been looking for somebody to give me this type of sound for a minute, yeah. and I done found it, and now you done ghost me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm looking for him, looking for him. Man, like a year and a half later, he hit me up. He like, hey, bro, um, I put you on to this dude. He hit your DMs yet? I'm like, what's his name? He like, Matt Cook. I'm like, um, shoot, I'll go check. I'll see. Man, I go on my request, and Matt Cook, the CEO of Ethica, uh, hit me up in my DMs. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> so, crazy. So he like, bro, what you doing? You better respond to that, man. That's <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, all right, because I had built up, I had built up like to the point where I don't, I had so many like uh, encounters with people of uh, like that just wasn't who they say they was, gotcha. or, especially on social media. What, bro? Like so. My trust was just like, hey, if a nigga claiming he a millionaire in my DMs, I don't believe him. He got to show me something. Bro. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> like, for real. Cause it's like, and I was solidified in my career to where I wasn't really desperate yeah. for somebody to sign me just yet. Cause I'm getting the gist of how this work independently. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, I can do this shit. Like, you know, like it's just all about funding. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's really, so I can have a nine to five to fund my dreams or, you know, do what I want to do. So yeah. Then, I figured that shit out, um, but um, <laughs> I figured that out. Yeah, yeah, I figured that shit out. Um, but then they came along and they just seen what I had going for myself, and they seen what I could do on my own. And I think they just wanted to, you know, just be a part of that and just see how they can help with, like, how we can help each other. You know what I'm saying? And they seen like my image and stuff, and then they uh flew me out there. We chopped it up, and then um I played some music, and they they seen a future with me, and then it's been history since. The flight there though, like on yeah. your way there, what you thinking? Like on bro, this on this flight, bro. That was my first time flying. That was being on the plane. That yeah. was my first time being on the plane, bro. Like, so like I was just like the whole experience going to the airport, seeing as many people like running around and going <laughs> yeah. like different other places. I'm like, dang, everybody know where they going though. Like it's weird. It's like so many people going to different places. So you almost got lost in them all. Bro. Yeah, bro. Like especially going to different airports and figuring out how a connecting flight works. Like yeah. you got to go to one airport and then go to another gate and get on another flight to go to where you're going. 
So yeah, it was a good experience, but it was just like it was my that was my first time doing it. So mm -hmm. it was just like real eye opening. I was new to everything, just like taking in everything and just like really enjoying it. The turbulence threw me off, but I was just like <laughs> that joint. That joint was crazy, but you gotta have a good a good pilot on that bit to be comfortable. Man, all these damn pilots that been crashing lately, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm like, what the fuck going on? Yeah, bro? and I've been noticing, like, really, every pilot is different. Like, when they land and how they take off, like, just flying so much, I started to pick up. Like, yeah. so a lot of things just be on the pilot. Like, really, like, I don't, I don't I hate, know. I hate when motherfuckers be, uh, for one, when they go, when they be shaking and shit, mm -hmm. like, in the sky. But I hate when they land. And they be like, damn, they're crashing that motherfucker. Boy. Yeah, boy, this last time I came back from Cali, boy, this man dropped this plane. Like, I said, bro, I'm giving him a one out of ten. I don't even know, like, what I'm rating him or what. But I was like, bro, that's a one out of ten. I don't like <laughs> when they drop it, bro. That shit <laughs> hurt. Dropping like that, bro. Like, that's right. almost crazy, bro. So how's Cali? How was Cali treating you when you went there? As far as the experience of, you know, being in the city, going to a whole other world. It's night and day, man. Like, night and day, the police ain't worried about you know the smallest thing because here you know they ain't it's every they can be on every little thing because you know we have so many regulations and laws that's different from california you know laws and stuff like so the weed being one thing like you know uh here like recently i done caught like a armed possession of having because i had went to the gun range a day prior and end up just having my shit in the car yeah at the same time i had gas from you know from cali in the car too yeah and you know what i'm saying they stopped me from a tent saying that my tent was too dark you know what i'm saying and in this hot ass city it's like you need tent to be kind of cool and yeah. you know what i'm so saying they're so trying to find every little reason any little reason bro like who wouldn't want tent in this hot ass city like but i just noticed the difference when i'm out there bro they treat me like a king bro like as soon as i get to the airport it's a driver and a big ass ethical black all black suv yeah. cadillac ready to pick me up like they like, nah, I don't carry this. Like, I got this. Like, woo, woo. Like, it's just <laughs> night and day, bro. Like, I come yeah. here. It's just night and day. Like, yeah. and it just helped me keep maintaining the same type of respect for myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, these people treating me like this. I need to have the same type of respect for myself and set those same type of boundaries with the people around me or like, you know what I'm saying? Not yeah. in an asshole way of like, treat me like a king, but I'm not going to take no disrespect type exactly. shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I had to. I'm solidified you know, and grind yeah. my way to the to the top what uh like what do they did they link you up with different artists like besides the ones you want to work with have you been yeah, writing like, for people um, like it's artists on the label they had like uh it they had like a whole bunch of artists get on one track mm. and um it was cool to see like all our different flavors on one track and seeing how we collide and it gave me the feel of like basically what they doing like okay they seeing everybody's sound and they seeing how they gonna market everybody's sound and seeing who sound best with who and woo do woo do woo and they don't put me on like they uh they working to get me uh some bigger name features when they drop this uh they doing the ethica mixtape mm -hmm. and i think it's called like the prophecy or rgb it might be one of them but basically this is like they break out tape so when i fly back in september this will be the launch of that tape and mm -hmm. one of my songs is on the tape or it might be two but i think one and that's like a real, real good song. And I think naturally, like off a remix or something, a good uh, artist would want to fuck with that song. Like, yeah. but they they still ask me who I uh, who I would want them to reach out to. And I gave them I gave them three names. I gave them Duke Deuce because I fuck with Duke Deuce. You know who that is? No. Nah. Um, Duke Deuce. He he a uh, Offset artist. Um, he like a crunk artist. Mm. Like Twisha Finger, like Headbanger. He like one of them. And then okay. uh, Big Scar. Um, I fought with Bit Scar. He's from Memphis, I believe. And um, what's the other one? Uh, Young Mall, Atlanta, Young Mall. Okay. And, um, so yeah, you kind of spread out with the sound. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I like I said, I, I'm a music connoisseur, bro. So I, I kind of feel like, okay, I feel like I sound good with that person type mm -hmm. shit. And especially like, and I try to work with them like, because it's like, I, I'm, I look at myself as like a freshman coming in because mm -hmm. I'm just like, you know, I'm real fresh to it. So I'm looking at who, who, who in my class type shit and who would, Cause I want to maintain that level. I don't want to just bust out with a Drake feature. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then just crash out with one Drake song and that just be the end of it <laughs> type shit. You know what I mean? Like, I wanna slow progress is what builds, like, you know, to build the artist. Cause so. you're building your fans too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking it, I'm taking it to step Versus by step. Versus getting all Drake shit. shit and then trying to survive off that. Mm-hmm. Is that all that, that's all that'll be like, everybody know that. You get one Drake song, you good, you, like, you got uh, any acting you gonna plan on doing? Like, 
It's a movie um, short film. Yeah, I, I definitely um I definitely want to get into acting. Like I like I like old stuff. Like stuff that's like um like it's this one clip where this dude like he talking to other slaves. Like I guess they on a boat and he take they going to America, mm -hmm. and it's like one dude he in like a suit and everybody else is like chained and shackled. I I seen, yeah. And he's like, oh, like y'all don't know y'all black yet. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he talking to them, and like I think I could like really reenact because that's all I'm for is like just like helping us realize where the power is in us. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times I just see like. Dang, like you don't even realize how much power you got. Like yeah. even in that situation that you in, you don't even realize how much power you got. So it's like I, I, I want to just like, want, I want people who are around me, people who are not around me, to like notice they worth because I feel like I'm noticing mine and I see the beauty in that. So yeah. I want other people to feel that too. Man, what this damn message was when he hit you? Cause you ain't, you ain't even say that. You ain't say when he messaged you and you seen who he was. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What he, did he um, say? Like, hey, I need you to. Uh, I like your song. Like, what did he say? Um, he was just like, uh, are you signed? Um, and they, I guess they had peeped my page or whatever, seen what I had going on, and heard from uh, Cook Up, like what I had going on, and um, they asked me if I was signed, and I said nah, and then um, he asked me if I was interested in getting signed, and I was like. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm open to see what it's about. You know what I'm saying, yeah. man. Um, cause I'm still trying to figure out if he real or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. He ain't got that many posts. He got a lot of followers. Like, woo -doo -woo, You know what I'm saying. But the, nowadays, the you ones. just can't tell. You <laughs> yeah. Just can't tell, bro. Like, nigga, probably pay. You know what I'm saying. Well, I you never know. know. You never know. Yeah. So then he was like, uh, yeah, uh, let's get you on the flight so we can like talk more about it in person and like. I want you to meet my Knew team. Knew it was real when you got on that damn flight. Like. I'm telling you, when he's something the flight confirmation and without asking me for no money or nothing, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, he legit. You know what I'm saying? Like, And then it was weird because I ain't, I thought I was going to have to pay something. Like, I get to the thing. All I did was show my ID. She gave me. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it can't be this easy now. Nah. But I guess that's how it is when somebody playing for your flight. So, And yeah. I think that's what a lot of girls don't like either because I started to like live like the girls that i would mess with and they was used to dudes not understanding their lifestyle or would, like you know what i'm saying somebody paying for their flight or flying them out and yeah. all of this so now i'm kind of getting they they swag and yeah. they like you know what i'm saying they like, like, oh. yeah they like they like niggas who like you know don't really ain't really um, into that life yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah. what's going on right 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 <laughs> so yeah 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 i peeped that but well, i've been learning a lot just been so yeah, so learning. when you peep that what you hit him back up oh i see what you had, i see what you had mm -hmm. going on yeah and, and then you know that's when you know girls just they 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 fuck with that you can do it for yourself like mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that that this is not like nothing that i'm doing for a female or mm -hmm. you know this is like my career that i'm chasing like my dream that i'm chasing so that's what they like to see too like um, I think that's that's cool because girls be loving to just see me like they like I love that for you Yeah, and it's just weird to hear stuff like that But it's it's good to hear stuff like that too because you know, you're doing the right thing for yourself So I definitely love like the standard that I've been holding myself up to and then they love to see me getting picked up by the SUVs It just make them feel like they talking to somebody of value. I feel yeah. like you know what I'm saying so I just hold that same type of value for myself and just be watchful of you know anybody trying to just use that or like you know play up under me to get to a certain spot in that Man, too. you already know mm -hmm. CNS, you know we had a little talk about you know mm -hmm. females and the games they play but i'm sure like when you at that level you can be like okay uh, yeah, yeah you can easily like right 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 you know and just I, I just man like just like being a man I, I can't i realize that you get respect for telling the truth yeah like you don't have to be scared to like lie like no matter what it's about even if it's about other hoes or whatever you like they may be upset with you but it's gonna be way better like you yeah, know what I'm saying? you gotta worry about it man. yeah like just you just gotta you just gotta be able to take that upsetness you gotta take that that first like Cause some might say no and walk away but yeah, right you know that's just what come with it, come with it. That, that's the risk oh, of telling the truth wasn't the one. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> i'm telling you that's a hey, you can't be mad at that you can't be mad at that you can't be mad at that. so like before the deal because i already know you was already had him basically you already you just basically said that you already had him but how was it after the deal though like was um, it more or was it like you were just able to sit back and see okay i want her um it was definitely like i, I just seen a lot of different sides mm -hmm. of like perspectives changing like how people viewed me because it was ones that i was in dms and wasn't getting no type of and then they hit me back and then it was 
like ones that was probably like in a relationship or something. Now they magically out of it. Now they magically out of it, you know. But I I I came to the conclusion that like I think um, girls like security, so they don't like to be single because mm. being single doesn't really. Rec- um, you don't get no money off that. Yeah, like you don't. It's not security. You unless know? you, unless you a bad one, and yeah. you can easily just <laughs> right, you right. Pay for your flights, you right, know what I'm right. But other than that, and, and be single, like no yeah. ties attached. Like, but I don't think that. But after a while, like, that shit don't even work. Right, like, it right. backfire when you get a little old. You like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's real stressful. But we'll talk about that later on right. another. Yo, yeah, make sure y'all follow Nerd Inc. The sponsor of the Otherwise Guys at Nerd Inc. on Instagram. That's Nerds Inc. Tattoos, where art becomes life. I want to work with Skeet, too. Skeet, bro. I fuck with him. Skeet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cool. He cool. I fuck with his sound. Like, his sound. Like, yeah, he got he got a little... So, you you think it's a little different, like, coming with the type of music you come with? Like, you feel like it's a... Because a, a, you basically already carved out a different lane. Like, mm-hmm. you already signed... You know, mm-hmm. compared to other people, they still trying to get it or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, what lane are you carving? Like, you feel like you're making a whole new lane? Um, I think, like, when I first started out, I think one of my goals was, like, to... It was weird, but I wanted to sound mainstream as possible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I just wanted to sound like I was already there. Because yeah. I felt like that would attract people who was already there. Like, they would be like, oh, he sound like he's trying to be of us. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This type of shit. So... I never like I always seen like okay this song about beef like it got big but what did it do for the artist and I always look at that yeah like they it's the song always get big exposure because it's so like uh controversial that you know a lot of people gonna go to it and say how they feel about and then they're gonna go to the other side and then the artist can't do certain things because of the beef yeah you know what I'm saying so to me that didn't that just didn't make sense you know what I'm saying I'm like I want to be able to have a big song and do a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so I guess that's why I wanted to, like, just what can I talk about besides the streets? What can I talk about besides shooting, killing? What can I talk about? And I just tried my best to make everything outside of that sound the best I could type shit. Yeah. And make it sound professional with whatever, like, the best quality of sound that I could get. You know what I'm saying? Like, the numbers done definitely change. Like, studio prices ain't the same. Yeah. Filming videos ain't the same as 2016, 17. Like, so, you know, it was, it was, I was able to have, like, multiple sessions and figure out, like, what sound good and what don't sound good and type shit. But, yeah, shit, that inflation, boy, that shit turned us up. <laughs> that shit turned us up like crazy. Yeah. Like, videos. I remember my first, one of my first videos that I got well known off, like, in Jacksonville. Eighty dollars, bro. Like eighty dollars. We shot that bit on the bridge, and the dude who shot it, he doing real good out in California. Like he working with like you know like uh, like C and C like C and B list celebrities like doing their videos and stuff. Yeah. And like he charged now fifteen hundred like per minute or two minutes or something like that. Ah, damn. Yeah, and our first video was eighty dollars. Like damn. so, you know, seeing his growth, and I'm like, dang, if I was able to work with him and you know, I, he able to do charge this now. Like, I want to be able to do that too, but from an artist standpoint. So, yeah. like, I'm trying to figure out what I got to do to, you know, be able to have fifteen hundred dollar features and shit. Like, you know, what I'm saying that's just building leverage. You know, having building, working on that sound so good that somebody's willing to pay for it type yeah. shit. So yeah, that shit is definitely crazy to see. Like, uh, I paid eighty dollars, but that eighty dollar video did so much for me. Yeah, like, like it flipped. Yeah, you, like, you still got a relationship with him? Um. We recently had like a little, like a little, uh, little thing because I had paid when he told me his price for like what he was now, mm. and I had paid it. I flew out to L.A. and we shot the video, but I think he was just really caught up in those B-list and C-list celebrities that, like, his heart probably wanted to do it, mm. but he just probably couldn't handle it as far as like the rate that he was working and however many projects he had at the time and. He just didn't um, put his. He did. He he didn't. He wasn't able to give it the attention that he gave the eighty dollar video. Okay. Like it was a different time, and I just. I guess I just had to learn that. Yeah. And um, he he gave me my money back because he wasn't able to edit the video, and uh, we shot. We shot, bro, for you two days. You still got the footage? Huh? You still got the footage? Oh yeah, yeah. I still got the like the the Dropbox with all the like. Uh, Why you ain't give it a smile to edit? Because like I feel like you know what I'm saying. I feel like 
it's, it's going to be hard because, like, he's the type of person, he has a specific vision, like, gotcha. a specific, like... So he already went in knowing what he wanted. Yeah. And he wasn't able to... Right. Got gotcha. you. Right. Okay. And that's that's the only reason. Because I, like, I feel like if anybody else would have shot it, I would have been able to hand it to somebody else. Yeah. They'd, they'd be like, oh, I get where he was going. He might have got some weird shots. Like, right. what the fuck this for? He was going to make that bitch work. <laughs> right. So it's like, that's what it is. <laughs> right, yeah. right. And you look at it, and you like only Walker would know what to do with this. So like, yeah. Because <laughs> if you look at how he shoot now, like it's definitely like fast paced. He started shooting with um after we shot that eighty dollar video, he started shooting with Fulio. Mm -hmm. He did Fulio Fortnite video. He did uh Spot 'em Got 'em. Um, he probably worked with Lil Papa, but I think he did Spot 'em Got 'em for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, Walker Flocker, that's his name, bro. Shout out to Walker, bro. Like, still, it's we still good. You still good. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yeah, that's crazy. No, yeah. Cause that'll start a beef too. Like, god damn, man. Yeah. Man, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Cause it's like it's it's, it's that I was willing to pay that fifteen for his his work. I I knew what that eighty did, so yeah. I know this fifteen from the go crazy. Yeah, you like I can't like, wait to this I'm shit. I'm telling you, bro. It was the it was the one. And that was, that same video was for the song that got me like pretty much signed with. So it just was Holy full circle shit. to me. Like it was okay. just real like full circle, but. You know, some things, like you say, some things happen. You can plan a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. Like, gotcha. Some things just happen to me. You, you, you might reshoot it. He might use that footage and some right. new shit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. You, you never know. You right. never know. So that's why I say I ain't, I ain't burning no bridges. And what other directors you looking at? Um, I know you got the certain photographers you work with. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, I definitely love Film Rat. Bro. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Film Rat. He done maintained a certain type of quality for myself that a lot of people love like high quality like especially no biggie video yeah make sure y'all go see no biggie man that's out right now but um yeah like film rat did that no biggie and it's real back to back fast paced because you know people's attention span is so short nowadays yeah. so like the shots and everything have to be like good quality and kind of not too slow or not too long gotcha. to keep their attention and that's what that, that video delivered it was like good quality shots and that'd be hard, like, depending on... If you got the right camera, you can work it, but... Mm -hmm. shit. Right, and he used... I think he used, like, probably, like, two or three different cameras. He had a yeah. VHS, and he had, like, a Red Cinema, and probably, like, another camera. But, yeah, like, he filmed right raw. And then I want to work... Eventually work with uh, Montana Shacha. He mm -hmm. hard. Yeah. He hard, bro. Like, he, he go hard. Um, And then Cole Bennett is hard. Like, Cole Bennett snap. So you already you already got the whole vision laid out. Yeah. Get, <laughs> get up him, get my yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. What, uh, I want a female in. Like, who, who you listening to, like, on the R&B end? Um, female in. I like, ooh. I like uh, this girl named Mar Mariah the Scientist. Mm -hmm. She dope. She dope. Um, you from the city? Um, nah, she. I think I don't know where she from. <laughs> like, but somebody had put me on her, and she apparently her and Thug got a relationship. Yeah. But um, yeah, she dope. Um, Maria the Scientist, and then uh, who else I like as far as like women R and B, women R and B. Let me think. Women R and B. Oh, that girl who saying that. Uh, Honestly, it ain't hard to be broken. Who's saying that? Well, I don't even know. Uh, it might be Sizzle. I fuck with them all. Like yeah. they pretty, like they cool. They yeah, got yeah, some. The, the new R and B female man, they be, they be going. Videos yeah. be lit. Yeah. All that yeah. shit. Yeah. I like the new style R and B. It's not like, I mean, I like the old style too. I'm not putting like, I'm not discrediting the old. Like I think the old. Cause you know the old, it, that's just like a, a standard of quality of music that's always gonna be like the standard. Like if you can't match this or be better, then don't come. Like you know what I'm saying? That's how it is. But like, that shit, like you say with the videos, it's like mm -hmm. slow. Like not everything sped up. Right, real right. Rapping. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta right. be more than just the singing. Not right, just right. Like, well, you gotta keep yeah. more attention. Cause everybody's singing, so it's like you got to bring a little more. Like, yeah. You gotta bring a little more, like whatever you doing, cause everybody rapping. Now you got to do a little more. They you just rap. You fuck with like auto tune. Um, yeah, I fuck with auto tune. Like, but my experience, like when I was first coming out, was so bad with like many different people not knowing my key, or like I had to learn too that like when I come in these sessions, I gotta know my key in case he don't, or you know what I'm saying, in case the engineer don't, because like knowing the key of auto tune is real important it can you know what i'm saying make or break it but yeah so i had to work on i thought that okay if i sound bad with auto tune i got to work on my voice mm -hmm. so then that's when i started to just like 
uh, like just work on my shit like without auto tune and like just try to make the best because I know that everybody ain't gonna have the best auto tune. So if I'm getting upset with because this dude auto tune sound bad, I'm telling him to turn it off because I I don't been working on my voice to like know how I'ma sound without auto tune. But yeah. you know like going through uh, EWM, Endangered uh, Wise Man. I don't know if you heard of them. But yeah, I've been working with so many people I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Danger Wise Man, six hundred King Street down there, um on Riverside. They cool. They got like a so nice. They know stuff. your sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I've been working with them consistently and just like I've been learning a lot of uh, music terms and like just different stuff. Getting a part of the lingo, so now I can go in there and say, hey, the latency is off. Yeah. And um, I think my, I think the. BPMs need to go a little bit. You know, I've been yeah. learning. So, <laughs> so I got because you got to talk their language when you come in there. You know, when you go to a different country, you got to talk their language so they yeah. can understand what you're talking about. So that's so, how that shit. So you go in the studio knowing, hey, you, know, you got to do this. Mm-hmm. You right. So you don't have like a locked in engineer or like a, a locked in person that's doing your beat. So you just still um, looking. Yeah, no, nah, like right now, I just uh, I just pay for my beats as I go. Like people send me packs, and I'll be like, I'm gonna lock in on this one, and then we chop up the paperwork get that straight like um my last beat um it was real good paperwork um but that's that's really the important thing with this artist thing is just making sure everybody is good you know what i'm saying like if you're gonna do it do it the right way because yeah. having any complications is never like fun at all so yeah. that's why um yeah i i want to be that but i, I noticed that you know like i don't ever want to chase like a friendship or mm-hmm. like nothing like a relationship but the ones that I do will like will chase is like wanting a relationship with somebody who has a camera or mm-hmm. wanting a relationship with somebody who is in the engineer because I, I always wanted to be like Metro and Thug or because you hear you know you hear how locked in it is yeah so like or Metro and Twenty One and uh, Future and Metro like yeah, you hear I, that music come out yeah like, it's yeah. like bro, I want to be locked in with a producer like that bro because that shit is raw like yeah. it's just raw like. It's Cause no like once they know your shit. sound, y'all it's over with. It. Yeah, y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all locked in. in. Yeah, like y'all locked in. I always cherish like I love seeing like relationships that work, mm-hmm. and and you know what I'm saying because and especially in our community we see so many relationships that don't work. So it's what like yeah, and all of them didn't work. I'm telling you, so it's like when I see you know like especially hearing their interviews and stories like oh me and Metro was in the in the studio and everybody it was late like we yeah. just kept we was always all that he was up in that bit till 3 a.m like i always cherish that work ethic and all so that's what i chase like future is a big inspiration future and young thug and lil wayne they yeah. all like my biggest inspirations just and mainly because of their work ethic more than like outside of everything else yeah type shit so yeah for sure so what what uh did you get like any uh wise words from anybody while you was in Cali or maybe here like from an artist or it can be from anybody um I think one of the wisest came from my pastor when I was in church here um like um as a jit um he said when you change the way you look at things the things you look at change Mm. and ever since then it just stuck with me like whenever I feel like oh like I'm looking at something and I, I just feel like I'm not getting a solution or an answer that I'm I changed the way that I look at it, changed Damn. the perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like, changed the perspective. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it just opened so many doors, just being open minded to, hey, maybe I am wrong. You know what I'm saying? I can, I learned to take accountability like that. Yeah. Because taking accountability, like, females love it, everybody love it when you can say that you the reason that you know what i'm saying yeah. and wholeheartedly i you know i'll, I'll take it yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it become easy too like yeah, yeah. especially as a I man do it too much because they, they be getting mad now yeah. like, oh, man you know you went wrong right right oh, right i'm but wrong fuck i'm it. learning i'm learning shoot <laughs> i'm learning you gotta work with me <laughs> you gotta work with me yeah <laughs> so so what as far as the fashion though like how do you how do you put together your your fits now like you know um, is it still through a uh, patron sending you stuff and you putting it together or you, you know yeah. what i'm saying like, yeah like because even I, I i noticed how like when um when i did have like a, few, uh, a little money or whatever i bought like my designer stuff and like shit like that but i was working with the brands and shit that i like i was working with a few brands too like 
I was just wearing they stuff because they would give it to me. We would shoot in it, and it's just, like, easy to just, like, wear what somebody just give you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I noticed, like, my page, you see more brand than any other, like, local brands and, you know, big brands. Like, you see it all, like, type yeah. shit. So, and then I just noticed, like, um, I just started to, like, embrace the um, the power of branding. Yeah. Like, okay, I see I'm getting big, so whatever I wear it's me promoting that brand type yeah. of shit. So that's what I feel like that's where I'm at now. Like, cause today I was like skeptical about the like what to wear, yeah. but I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just chill. Like I'm, keep, keep I had one on what I had on. Like, and you know, I felt like it was gonna be a good conversation. So I was comfortable in what I had on and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't wait till I get to that point where yeah. we get some sponsors to come through the door and yeah. I'm branded up. You what? know what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm like changing in the middle of the set. Tell you. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling cause I feel like now like, it's, it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's probably, I wouldn't even normally, but it's like, I'm, since I'm getting hats, <laughs> shirts, and the box, might as well put it on, wear it, oh, you know what I'm saying? So, so I, I'm, it's a whole bunch of ethical in my, like, <laughs> that's all I wear, and I ain't got no shame in it, like. Ain't nothing wrong with that. For real. For How real. you feel about it, and then you like, yeah, I'm wearing this, because. You know, I'm signed to them, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, you got yeah. a store behind it, too. Like, yeah, you ain't just yeah. wearing it. Right, win. right, right. So, right. motherfuckers say, like, that ain't, you know, joy. Mm -hmm. Man, he ain't got no joy. So right, type It's shit. like, nigga. It's different for me. You know why I'm wearing this right, shit? Right, right. It's different. It's different, man. And I'm not the type of person to come out, you know, like, bragging, like, oh, like, you know, I'm signed. To, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, dude. yeah, but you know what I'm saying? That That's definitely the case, though. You know what I'm saying? It's like... I'm I'm rocking this because this who I'm with, you know. I'm yeah, repping the home team. Like it's a reason I rocked it, and every you know what I'm saying. Like my little vibes or whatever, they they love the ethical and stuff, you know. But what I'm even saying? with the with the like the local brands, mm -hmm. like you rocking, yeah, you support. I'm supporting yeah. local brands. Right, right, right. Yeah. And that, it's a different feeling wearing the local brand in your city, because mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying. Especially like when you in the club with Patron and he over sploosh and I got on the sploosh shirt. It just made me feel like I'm with the coach or some shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's way different because I know I ain't finna be in uh, the club with some off-white on and I'm gonna be with the owner of off-white. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's cool to feel like I'm with the owner of this brand. And you that building I'm the brand. So yeah. when he gets to the point where he DMing the artist, mm -hmm. like you are the part of it. Like, right, you know right, saying? right. And that, I think that's the beauty of like working is knowing that we helping each other out mm -hmm. like we wearing yeah i'm wearing this and it's your clothes but we both helping each other exactly like and that's like it, whether we notice it or not because i had a few people hit me up about sploosh mm -hmm. just from working with them you know what i'm saying and it, it's been beautiful just like seeing what we can do bro like just by working together bro yeah like, that's you, you probably one of the few artists that that's doing something in the city and actually wearing other people's brand yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying because people yeah. ain't yeah, they might wear right. their own brand. Yeah, but they ain't and, well. and you know, it's it's you you can you can have normal people wear like uh, designer shit. Like yeah. normal anybody normal can wear Gucci, Louis. But like something about wearing a local brand make you feel like you're a celebrity. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it make you feel like I'm I'm doing good by wearing it. It look good and they appreciate me wearing it. You know what I'm saying? So that's I think I love when people appreciate me wearing this stuff too. So yeah. it'd be fun. It'd be fun, man. Yeah, it'd be fun. Well, uh, how you feel about like, you think social media is like, it's kind of dying out. Um, and when I say that, cause like you know, Instagram is starting to have all these bots, YouTube mm -hmm. all these fucking bots. Right, right. So like, now it's to a point where the algorithm all fucked up. Mm -hmm. And I think what happened was like, cause back in the day the algorithm was so free, mm -hmm. and like everything was just like you post it, it's gonna go however it go. Like, I think they just noticed that once these major blogs started to come in and charge people 300 mm -hmm. just for posting on their page and have the chance to get followers, or I think Instagram kind of picked up on people making money off of their free app. Yeah. And then it was like, we got to do something to like, you know what I'm saying? So now you pay to play type shit. Yeah. So now if you want your video to do numbers, you got to pay for it instead of just back in the day, you just posting it. You know what I mean? And I think that's because of the major blogs, bro. You got yeah. World Star charging a band. Uh, got down Say Cheese, Foe. Got down uh, Academics. Wait, but 12. even then, though, like it was you had to go to World Star to watch it. Yeah. You yeah, still went to yeah. Instagram, seen a little bit, but you had to go to World Star to right, watch it. Right. But now it's like, is everywhere on major blogs because major blogs is such a big thing now like yeah. it's so many different 
like TVs, like uh, like Detroit TV, Atlanta it's Underground so TV, like you know, and, and back like you said, all we had was World Star. Mm -hmm. Somebody get in the fight, somebody yelling World Star. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what really started it off, though. Yeah, that World, World Star. Star. <laughs> yeah, everybody wanted to hop on, but I feel For like real. even with the algorithms, the way like I say, YouTube. Mm -hmm. The other big brands always been there. They always like they want your money for advertising, but mm -hmm. and people will still see it. But now it's like, like you said, you ain't moving unless you pay. Right, right. That shit fuck up the whole game, man. Yeah, and that's what uh, like this recent time, cause usually I had somebody else like over like kind of like managing my videos on YouTube. But mm -hmm. then I recently took charge over my No Biggie video, and um, I run I I run I I ran my own ads on it and mm -hmm. shit like that. And I noticed I had, it was moving slower, but it was way more organic, like way, way, way more organic. Like yeah. I had, I paid like in total, man, probably like, probably like $125 mm. and it got like a natural 900 or what is that? Like 800 views or something right now. Yeah. So, and you know what I'm saying? And versus me believing that I'm finna get views off of paying say cheese or whatever and yeah. probably get none. I just ran my own ads through my Instagram and got some, cause I'm putting the link to the video directly on the ad. Yeah. So when they click on it, they ain't coming to my profile. They going straight to YouTube. But that's why I want the traffic to go. You know what shit. I heard though? Like What's it's that? still good, but mm -hmm. like they were saying like, so Instagram, they don't want you to make the people leave the page. Mm -hmm. So when you spend it, let's say you spend a hundred, right? Mm -hmm. You got, you got 800 views off that one, mm -hmm. but you really would have got 3000 mm -hmm. if you wouldn't send them off the thing. Gotcha. I heard, I'm like, what that's the crazy fuck? they don't want a nigga to um they don't want you to promote and make people leave instagram they right. want people to stay on they there. want people to stay on instagram and you that send them sense. to a whole nother yeah but i'm just letting you know sense. like that that's sense. how rigged this shit is like that made a lot of sense because they on. yeah because you leaving instagram to go to youtube and if you notice Damn. when you when you choose okay do you want to promote this link or do you want to promote your page mm -hmm. you get more views yeah <laughs> I'm they something else, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. But they something else, bro. They, that shit crazy, my, man. From what I'm seeing, bro, and I ain't know, I don't know at all. But damn, it look like like Instagram's gone for right now. Yeah. Even with uh, what is it, TikTok? You get a lot of views, but it ain't really no. Like it's it's like Me, yeah yeah. I for see every hundred on Instagram, you mm -hmm. get nine thousand on on TikTok. Type shit. But it. Don't mean that. Like, right, ain't nobody right. commenting, ain't nobody yeah, saying that. They yeah. just really, them thousands yeah. this passing through your right, shit. Right, right, right. What an interaction at the engagement type exactly. shit. Exactly. It's weird, yep. bro. Yeah. You getting to that point. I just want to talk to somebody because I feel mm -hmm. like I'm going, like, what the fuck? Nah, that makes sense, bro? though, because I know people that got a lot of views on TikTok. Like, a lot, a lot of views on TikTok, but it's yeah. like not doing nothing. Like, yeah. Like, it's just a lot of views. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like, really no. Like, how, your, how your song, that be. It got the attention of somebody with influence. It's right, like right. they don't want even. They don't even. You can get all the views you want, but it's like you're not even reaching the influential people that you right, need to, right, to reach. Right. That's my fact. whole point. Yeah, for a fact, because you got to remember what you're doing it for at the end of exactly. the day. Like who you trying to reach at the end of the day. Like yeah, yeah. For Back sure. in the G shit, you post something. I miss the old days. You post something, man. You just get, you might hashtag something. You gonna get like five people which want to follow oh, yeah. off that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> off the hashtag. Off the hashtag yeah. alone. Yeah. But Instagram says it's pay to play nowadays. Yeah. Boy. So what's your platform though? What what's your main platform you like to be on? <laughs> um, I probably say uh, Instagram. Instagram like for now because I've built such a good resume on it. Mm -hmm. You know, like I love seeing like everything that I done done, like the brands that I done collab with. But now I'm just trying to build my YouTube to kind of reflect like my Instagram. Yeah. Like, I want to be like just as consistent on YouTube as much as I am on Instagram. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's hard, you know, with the videos, like, you know, trying to have, like, consistent visual, like, videos, because, you know, it's different, you know, prices when it comes to, like, making videos and stuff like that. Yeah. But, um, you know, like, if I can, like, when I do, you know, have a position to consistently bring them videos every month, then that's what I'm doing. Okay, you know what okay. I'm saying? Like, because right now on Instagram, like, I ain't really into, like, posting, like, what I wore today, like... I look, I look at it as a business, straight business, straight. This is my resume because when people come to it, you know what I'm saying? They trying to look at, they looking at something and mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get them like my my mindset of like what I need from whoever looking at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I do. And if you trying to invest, like this is what you investing in type shit. 
okay. You know what I mean? Like, so that's how I look. I look at Instagram way different than how I used to look at it. Like, yeah. Like, it's way different now. I look at it straight business, man. Got straight you. Straight business. And shoot, other people look at it. I mean, like... I don't know. Instagram would be like a dating app now. Like, man, what you mean? Now? <laughs> that shit always been a dating app. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Niggas say that. For real. Though, Every boy. social media platform, boy. It's yeah. been a dating app. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, it's, it's whatever it's made for, and then dating too. Right, right. Especially right, with right. the females. Like, they took that shit over. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. they run yeah, yeah. all the social media platforms. <laughs> yeah, females is like, yeah, they over every social media. Like, because like, I definitely, I'm still trying to figure out how to do a TikTok. Like, how to. <laughs> Cause you know they they tell artists that we need to be active and yeah. TikTok and trailer and you know you gotta be active in so many things. But like I don't know I can't, I'm not I wasn't always like a outgoing like I was shy at some point like yeah. you know I just wasn't and I wouldn't even say shy but I just wasn't like a out there out there type of person like I just kind of like to observe play it back. But like the more that I got into this position they want you to just be active in all areas and it do help like it do help having a tiktok presence having a trailer presence yeah having an instagram presence youtube wait trailer is uh i'll be seeing people post it but that's is that more like a tiktok too where you got followers um, and talking to people on that more bro um, i've never been on that more trailer i don't know i kind of just like made videos on that, there okay okay yeah, that's what but, I like. and, and it's i think it's just longer videos than tiktok because mm. like on trailer you can have like a 45 second but but people can follow that. you though, and yeah, people yeah, can yeah. comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, I didn't know that. Sure. Part. I always yeah. seen the videos, but I never knew that it was like a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just so, see a lot yeah. of artists just posting bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because usually you make the video on the app and mm. then just bring it to Instagram yeah. type of shit. But it trailer is own little thing like TikTok. And I shit. did not know yeah. that shit. See, yeah, yeah. I something new today. <laughs> yep, yep. People be going live on trailer and all like. It's a lot, and I'm working with this one. Um, it's an up and coming app called Fan Pass. They um they fairly new, but they've been dope too. It's like a platform for artists. Like when you go live on their app, they mm -hmm. kind of like pay you like a percentage or something like out of a certain amount of views that you may get on the app or mm -hmm. whatever. But they really like about like paying artists like uh like getting royalties off of things that you would normally do on Instagram that you probably aren't seeing royalties from. Like Fan Pass is trying to make that for artists. Like they will make your merch, make custom stickers for you, mm. like all of that. So they've been real dope. I'm trying to like work with. I'm trying to get a uh, presence on that app too. See, it's so, a lot of little apps. That's why I say mm -hmm. Instagram down or the social media platforms are going down. Cause mm -hmm. like I can, I can name you about three of the motherfuckers that I found out within this week mm -hmm. that people are using now. Mm -hmm. And I ran into one dude at Best Buy. He was telling me about the Vimo. Or something, oh, yeah, or yeah, Vero, yeah. or what's one of them? Yeah, yeah. They using that. Yep, I heard about that. VMO or M M O some shit. No, like not that. that one. Not the one with the videos. Oh, okay. Not okay. that, because that's all like Vimo. He was like, nah, not that. And uh, but Vero. Oh, Vero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that one, that's like it's like the new Instagram, but it mm -hmm. was saying with no algorithms, mm -hmm. like, and it's it's already like celebrities on there. You know, they already yeah. got them on there. Yeah, yeah, type shit. But it's a few, <laughs> it's a few of my yeah. that. I'm like, bro, I don't know where the fuck to go, but mm -hmm. I'm test it out, look at it, see what's going on. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check it out too, man. You never know which one of them apps gonna pop up. Exactly. Type shit. Shit. Anything else you want to say before we get out here? Shoot, man, it's been real, man. Nothing but good vibes, man. I appreciate you having me for sure. For sure, for sure. Like it's been real. Make sure y'all go check out No Biggie. My uh mixtape coming out in October, man. We still coming up with a name, but just be on the lookout before Halloween, man. Okay, I'm all about my money. I ain't got no time for nothing no else. Time. Safe to say, I'ma get this show into my last bro. No hand out. When I hear ain't got it by my damn self. Remember, I was broke. I told my brother all I want was what my jail off in the kitchen. Best believe he cook it like a chef. Stay down till you get it, and I stack my money tall as shelf. We don't come up short up on my money. I am not a elf. Show a pet your house with them choppers like my J. I be elf. Serious when it come to my money. Boy, I don't play no games. Tap some 35 for the pound because he was a lame. Gotta be quick on your feet because it's a dirty game. Lost my cousin Floyd this year. This shit ain't been the same. Got me on it loud and it's just trying to.